Hi, in this video, I want to show you how to clone the Duolingo Get Started Illustration Animation using Swift UI. So let's begin. You can find the animation assets from this GitHub repository, Repository iOS Animations. It contains the animation assets as well as the Xcode project in this folder. So you can clone the repo and get the animation assets and the Xcode project. I designed the illustration in this Figma document. So you can see we have all the individual layers. What you can do is to export them separately as PDF or SVG. You can also use PNG for the various layers and export them into Xcode. I have already exported all the various layers into Xcode. So let's go back to the project. In the assets folder, you can see I have all the various layers of the illustration. If I control click one of them and select quick look, you can see this is a PDF image. In this file, to get started, I have used basic container views such as VStack, HStack, and ZStack to put the illustration together. So let's begin creating the animation. The first step is to define some states. So let's define all these states. The first one will be used for blinking the eye. The second one will be used for tilting the illustration. The third one will be used for animating the right leg to raise the illustration up and down. The fourth will be used for creating a waving animation. The last one will be used for animating the mouth. So these are all the initial animation states. Next, we need to define the final animation states. In this example, we want to trigger the animation without user interaction. So when all the views appear, we add the on appear modifier to trigger the animation automatically. So what we need to do in the body of the on appear modifier is to add the final animation states. So let's go to the initial states we just defined. Starting with the blinking animation, let's add this code. To set the final animation state of the blinking animation, we use with animation with is out is in equation. Then with a duration of two, a delay and repeat count. Then we toggle the animation state. Next, we have to do similar thing for the remaining states. So I have the code for the remaining states in the clipboard. So let's paste them here. So you can see the next one is the tilting animation. We use different easing equation with the same duration, but different delay and different repeat count. The next also uses a different standard easing, repeat count, then we toggle the animation state. The last two are also similar. So once we define the final animation state, what we have to do is to start animating the properties. Let's begin with the right hand. So this is the right hand. It is arranged to appear behind the body. The right hand involves only rotation animation. So let's paste this code here and preview again. So using the state variable is waving along with ternary operation, we are animating the angle of rotation between zero and 90. A ternary operation operates on two values, true and false. The value that comes after the question mark is the true value. So when the condition is true, we set the angle of rotation to zero. And when it is false, we set it to 90. If I preview again, you can see the rotation takes effect at the top part of the hand. That is caused by this anchor property. If I remove that, you can see it is rotating at the center of the hand. That is not what we want. So let's undo the change. Next, we animate the left hand. For the left hand, we will use rotation animation as well. So let's paste this code. Over here, we are using the same ternary operation with the state variable is waving. We animate the angle of rotation between zero and negative 10. Then we move the anchor to the top leading part of the left hand. You can see it is also having the animation modifier. This overrides the final animation state we set over here is waving. Because here we are using this is out standard easing. We override that with the animation modifier by setting the easing to ease in out instead. So let's preview to see the left hand animation. Let's move on to the next animation. 
In this animation, we want to animate the eyelid and pupil to create a blinking animation. So here we paste this code that contains a scale animation. So if I preview again, you can see that scales up and down. The blinking animation is defined over here. You can see it has the standard ease in, ease out, with a duration of 2, delay of 0 0.2 second, and repeat count of 2. Then we toggle the state. In the next animation, we will animate the tank with scale and offset. So let's add the scale effect modifier. We want to animate only the X coordinate. If we don't specify the coordinate, it will animate the X and Y, but we are interested only in the X coordinate. Let's use the state is shouting. With this animation, we will also use a ternary operation. So let's bring a question mark. For the true value, we want to scale the X coordinate to 1.4. And when the condition is false, we scale it to the original size, which is one. Next, we will add the offset modifier and animate it as well. For the offset, we will animate the Y coordinate. We will use the same state, so let's copy this one and paste it here. Then we change the values. For the true value, we will use minus three, and the false value will have four. And that animates the tank with scale and offset. Next, we want to animate the whole body. So this is the container holding all the views. To tilt the whole body, we want to use rotation effect and the state is tilting. Let's paste the state. We will use a ternary operation as well. So when the condition is true, we set the angle of rotation to zero. And when it is false, we set it to an angle of 15. So let's preview. So you can see the body is also tilting to the right. In the last animation, we want to animate the right leg. With this animation, we want to use offset and rotation. Let's add the rotation animation first. We want to use the state is raising. So let's copy it here. Then we paste it here. We want to use ternary operation as well. So let's bring a question mark. For the true value, we will set the angle of rotation to zero and the false value will have a rotation of minus 30. So this animates the right leg with rotation. Let's animate it with offset as well. So below the rotation effect modifier, let's add offset. For the offset, we are interested in the X coordinate. We will use the same state. So I'll copy this one and paste it here. Then we change the values. The true value will be five and the false value will be zero. So we now animate the right leg with offset and rotation. And with this, we will end here. So this is how to create this get started illustration animation of the Duolingo character. Thanks for watching this video.